All right, now it's time to have some fun with exponents. So let's see, on this first one right here, we need to first have this squared exponent apply to everything that's in the parentheses. So this first two is gonna to have to be squared, that's a four. Then when you have something raised to an exponent and you raise it to another exponent, then what you do with those two exponents is you multiply them. So that means they're gonna have x to the four is then squared, multiply those two, it leaves x to the eight. And then these two, when you multiply them, is going to be y to the sixth. For the bottom one, there's not much we, there's nothing we can do in this step, so just recopy it. Okay, now the four and the six, the numbers in front, the coefficients they're called, we can divide by two on each of those to reduce. So divide by two leaves a two, divide by two leaves a three. And then for the x's, well, there's a couple of ways to look at it. One is the rule for exponents says when you're dividing and the bases are the same, x and x, then subtract the exponents. So that would be x is to the 8 minus 3 is 5. So x is to the 5. Or the way that I like to look at it is three of these can cancel three of these and it leaves five of them behind. So, doing this with the y values, what I would do is say, there's 12 of them down there, there's, so there's more in the denominator, so that means that in the answer, the y's are going to be in the denominator, and these six of them can cancel out six of these, so it leaves six of them behind. Now the other way to do it with that rule about subtracting is, you would have the top one minus the bottom one, so that would leave y to the 6 minus 12, that would leave y to the negative 6. But then you can't leave any negative exponents. So then you would have to use that other rule that to get rid of a negative on exponents, you take this and invert it or put it in the denominator if it was in the numerator. But I don't really like that way because then you're doing an extra step you don't really need to. Instead, if you look at it this way, there's more down here, so that's where they're going to end up. However many here cancels however many, six of them. These six will cancel six of these, leaving six behind, and then you're done. Part B. Okay, so first of all, we need to use this three, so everything is going to be cubed. 3 cubed means 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. Then um, a to the 6 is raised to the 3rd. Multiply those as a to the 18. And when I multiply these two, it's going to be b to the negative 9. And then I can just put multiply with, in fact, I don't even need to put a dot. I can just say a to the negative 4 and b to the 7. And that means the same thing as if the parentheses were there. It means multiply. Okay, now when you're multiplying and the bases are the same like this a and this a, then you just add the exponents together. So the 27 will stay there. And then a to the, so it's got 18 minus 4 is 14. And then do the same thing with the b's. So b to the negative 9 combined with b to the 7 leaves b to the negative 2. But then don't forget, leave no negative exponents. So that's where we need to invert this. So the 27 is fine, the a to the 14 is fine, but the b to the 2 needs to be moved to the denominator and that gets rid of negative exponents. And this one right here. Well, some people say well, anything to the 0 equals 1. Well, for the most part, that's true, but 0 to the 0 is undefined, for one thing, so there's one exception. The other is, this exponent means take a 12, raise it to a 0, and sitting in front of all of that is a negative. 
So the answer is actually going to be the negative is sitting there, minding its own business. The 12 gets raised to the 0, which is a 1. And so the result is that it's negative 1. You want proof? Let's see how smart the calculator is. If you take a negative 12 and raise it to a 0, yay, calculator, you're so smart. But see, if it had been put in parentheses, negative 12 raised to the 0, now this means take the whole thing, the negative and the 12, raise it to the 0, that's going to be equal a 1. So with parentheses, it equals just a 1. Without parentheses, it equals negative 1. All right, with this one over here, I need to use this negative for, well, there's a couple of ways you could do it. One, just like I did over here, have the square applied to all three things inside the parentheses and then go from there. This one though is negative. So this four I'm pointing to, this four is negative. So what I could do in the first step is just invert the whole thing. So with the rules of exponents, they don't have an order of operations. You are allowed to do the rules of exponents in different orders and at the end you'll end up with the same answer. So I'm going to invert this whole thing so that means take 2 and x to the 5 and y to the negative 6 and then the 4 becomes positive. Nothing else changes just take the whole thing, invert it, and then that gets rid of the negative on the 4. And then on this one I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 3 so there is 4 to the 3, which means 4 times 4 times 4, that's 4 to the 3. Put these two together, that's 16 times this 4, that equals 64. And then x is going to be raised to the 3. And if I multiply these two, that's going to be y to the negative 6. Okay, now I need to distribute this 4 over here. So there's going to be 2 to the 4th, so 2, 2, 2, 2. is going to be paired these up as a 4, pair these up as a 4, and then 4 times 4 is 16. This raised to this is make, going to make it x to the 20. And these two will make it y to the negative 24. And then just recopy the 64, the x to the 3, and y to the negative 6. All right. 16 times 64. A thousand and twenty-four. 1024 in the denominator. For x's, there's 20 of them here and 3 of them there, so they're both positive. That means 23, x to the 23. And then for y's, there's y to the negative 24 and y to the negative 6. So when you combine those two, it makes y to the negative 30. But you're not supposed to put negative exponents in your answer, so instead of me putting y negative 30 right here, I'm going to invert it, and then it becomes y to the positive 30.